Hello, my friends. I'm meteorologist Jeff Matthews with the most accurate educational fun forecast you can find right here on CMYWeatherTainment.com. And I encourage you to tune in on Periscope. It's the new weather for the future. Next-gen weather. Sprinkles to flurries on Friday, clearing up on Saturday. A tranquil weekend of weather, but look out, because after midnight Sunday night, the snow begins and goes into Monday morning, when about three inches should be on the ground, and it may persist a while longer into Monday afternoon with little or no additional accumulation. There is your average high for this time of year, 37 degrees. There's the trend. You can see it hovering either side of average for the next five days, and then turning much colder next Thursday and especially Friday. As far as precip, it's Sunday night, Monday morning, and again, Tuesday p.m. into Wednesday and Thursday. The short story is this huge storm is finally weakening and giving up the ghost, but there is still so much cloudiness surrounding it from Maine all the way out to Minnesota that it's probably going to take a while on Saturday for the clouds to really break up. But the afternoon should be brighter than the morning. It'll be a clear, cold Saturday night, and then we turn over the shoulder to this storm over Texas that I promised you would form and indeed is blossoming rapidly, bringing inundating rains to Texas and Louisiana as well as Arkansas on Saturday. So that storm, as it continues to grow, is getting caught up in the jet stream flow that this storm created by sitting here and spinning so long. So, if that's the storm track, we are in line for some snow after midnight Sunday night. Could mix with rain Monday afternoon, but I'm going to say it's mostly or all snow. And if that's the case, we could wind up with some accumulation. Meanwhile, Friday's flakes and spinning sprinkles dissipating, and then Friday night and Saturday, skies gradually clearing up. Sunday will be the brightest of the two weekend days. But this is a peek at what I think might wind up being the case for snow amounts. One or two for the Finger Lakes, two or three as you get closer to the Mohawk Valley, one or less for southeastern New York, and maybe three to five for camping country in the Adirondacks. That's Sunday night after midnight into Monday midday. The impact will be relatively low, but it does come in at Sunday night after midnight and Monday morning, which is when people are headed back to work and kids back to school. But the main impact will be in the snow category, not wind, ice, or cold. Friday, meanwhile, I came within one of the forecast high. A new number of traces in the rain gauge from sprinkles all day Friday. 9-11 on daylight, and we lose another 15 or so minutes by Christmas before that trend reverses. I encourage you this weekend to go on the website, cnyweathertainment.com, and check out the partner page and see if there's some deals for movie tickets, a pet cube, vacation, new sneakers, wrapping materials for your gifts, because... Some of those sponsors are offering 25-50% off. Now is the time to check it out and support Weathertainment. And I want to give a shout out to the City Gym in downtown Utica as well. Just mostly cloudy for Saturday, but as I mentioned, the clouds will tend to break up morning to afternoon with a high about 40. Clear and cold for Saturday night, 2 bits, 25. Frosty cold. Sunday, sunny all day. High, 3 dozen cousin. Clouds will begin to increase late in the day, right towards sunset, and then thicken up in the evening with snow after midnight, snow into midday Monday, about three inches, boom, and then Tuesday should be dry. Tuesday, late in the day or at night, more snow or mix changes over to rain Wednesday morning. But it's Monday that you'll probably wake up and the kids go back to school where there'll probably be several inches of snow on the ground. That's your weekend weather forecast. Make it a great weekend.